If you were a young, loaded aristocrat in the 18th century, one of your rites of passage was the Grand Tour, a trip to Italy in order to soak up a classical past, faded Renaissance glory, and if time allowed, its local nightlife. One of the tour's must-see destinations was Rome. Whilst there, you might commission a painting by Canaletto as a souvenir of your time in the Eternal City, and perhaps buy this plan, which beautifully illustrates Rome's imperial past and Renaissance splendor. John Battista Nolli's Plan of Rome is the finest and largest plan of the city published in the 18th century. Its accuracy, wealth of detail and obvious decorative appeal made it hugely popular with the grand tourists of the day. In fact, Nolli's plan was so accurate that it would be used by the city council as the basis for maps of the city until the 1970s. The project was initiated by a group of antiquarians and intellectuals who deemed it necessary to produce a new plan of the city, and they found in Nolli the perfect candidate. Originally from Lombardy, he worked as a surveyor in Milan, where he was exposed to the latest methods and instruments. He moved to Rome in 1736 and quickly took the lead on the project, gathering a large team of architects and surveyors finally publishing it in 1748 with a dedication to Pope Benedict XIV. The map is made up of 12 sheets and measures 1.7 by 2 metres, with the plan itself set within an illusionistic scroll, and below a capriccio, or architectural fantasy, celebrating ancient and modern Rome. On the lower left, we can see classical landmarks such as the Colosseum, the Arch of Constantine and the Forum. On the right is the personification of the Catholic Church, being crowned by winged Putti, with further Putti busily surveying at her feet. She sits in front of Michelangelo's Gran Piazza del Campidoglio, which tops the Capitoline Hill. What strikes the viewer now, as it must have done in the 18th century, is how little Rome had changed from its Renaissance height. Large areas within the ancient city walls are still occupied by Renaissance villas, with their fields, orchards and gardens. The Colosseum stands in virtually open country. Interestingly, Nolli displays the internal plans of churches, theatres and all other public buildings, perfect for the avid student of classical architecture, as well as drains, soldiers' billets, water mills and ferries. This attention to detail has inspired modern-day innovations such as the University of Oregon's Nolli Map Engine, where one can overlay his plan with modern satellite imagery. Or, next time you're in Rome, you can download the Nolli app to your phone and travel through the city like the grand tourists of the 18th century.